and welcome to week six of the season five of Southern Nation League. I'm your play-by-play analyst, Joshua Gonzalez, and I'm joined here with Coach Tone. In game two, we got the Mako sponsored by Amat Law versus Reaper sponsored by Campus Customs. This one should be a good one. Last week, they didn't have Yusuf. This week, they have Yusuf. And they picked up a win for that one as well. To me, they had more off, more ball movement when he was gone because right. it's a guy that you don't really have to, like, I would say babysit. Good shot. And it 1v1 God with a good start. With the haircut. With the haircut. That's what I'm saying. Haircut 1v1. This might be a new a new 1v1. He might he might have tapped into a next tier, yeah. uh, next level. He, instead of God, what is he? 1v1 demon? Oh Whoa. <laughs> That'd be crazy. He's playing he aggressive on the Oh, he is. That is going to be the Reaper's weakness this game is the Makos have so much size and I don't think the Reapers can combat that size. Yeah, even though their defense is really, really good, their size does not make up for yeah, and I'm not going to lie. And, and, and this team is known for taking it into the hole yeah. and playing very aggressive, playing very tall. And they have two guys that can bang down there. They have Kyle Arts, which he's a shooter, but he's a bigger body. And they also have QDZ on the bench. And QDZ as well as a bigger body that's willing to post up. And that's their weakness is post defense. Yeah. Oh, and, and I'm, one thing that's going to be interesting, too, is how are they going to play the perimeter defense? They're really good at doing that. How is that going to affect, you know, someone like Yusuf, someone like Morgan one guy who likes to take those deep, those deep point threes? I, I think the Reapers can combat the perimeter offense. It's the inside offense that's going to kill them because they do well closing out and making them take, like, this, like, um, like not in rhythm shots, but they can't finish the possession. And then offensively, they need somebody other than Sway to be in rhythm. Right. Last game, everybody scored. Let's see if they can do that again. That was a nice finish by Sway. They need more of that. They scored 16. Let's see. It was 64 points last game. Shot by 1v1 got off. Oh, that's Shot good. dock on the top. Oh, at the top he ran away like hit. Steph Curry. Jay Nola with a good save right there. Do you count that as brick of the day because he ran away like <laughs> Steph Curry? Probably, honestly. Oh, so good. Good ball moving by the Reaper so far. Yeah, they. Ooh. They switched the starting lineup again. I think Jacob Nolan didn't start last week. Haircut Jacob Nolan, by the way. A lot of haircuts. A lot of haircuts, yeah. Everybody's looking fresh today. So, do you think they all went at the same time as a group to go? Yeah, they probably went to Horace, to the grooming gallery, <laughs> to get haircuts. Yeah, this is a, he needs to be aggressive right here. Here comes Good Sway. Defense. Sway with the finish. That's a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Sway had a really good game last game as well. Yeah, he had a solid game. Points. It's under his average, actually, because, again, they had Sterling that stepped up with right. 14 points. But his rebounding was there, too. Eight of them. He's, again, Josue is the guy who gets, like, everybody going, but they need other guys to be in the same rhythm as him. Because, unfortunately, the whole season so far has been Josue and then everybody else. It needs to be everybody else with Josue. With, yeah, with, I, I, I agree with you on that one. They got a foul on Sauce. And then on the Mako side of things, um, Yusuf needs to learn that like he can be aggressive, but he also has to look for his teammates too. I feel like he settles for a lot of shots. He has a lot of good teammates too. Exactly. So he needs to use them, and that's been their Achilles heel has been their good thing has been Yusuf, and their bad thing has been Yusuf. Right. Like shots like that, again, we can but the good thing is he was willing to pass right there. He was. So that was that's already an improvement. I hope he saw the film of his team without him and showed what they're capable of. They move the ball off ball movement, right. and he's willing to like spot up and take better shots because they're very talented teams. They're, they're missing a lot of shots here, but the good thing is that they're starting to you know shake these off early in the game. You want these to happen early, not later in the game. You know I like them being aggressive, attacking the paint. Right. Because that's their strength this game. I can see this being a tie game for for most of it, to be honest. This is definitely going to be a low-scoring game. Oh, good pass. Oh, good pass, Arcino. Oh, oh that can't hit. That's brick, brick of the day. day brought to you by saying the realtor. Oh, my oh, goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Frickin' Nick again. That would have been the assist. We should day, just but. call that the Nick Award, because he's been missing a lot of layups. <laughs> Ooh, look at that defense by Sauce. They got, oh, they That's got what it. I was telling you about. They like to take those three-point shots nice. and they hit right there, but they like to take those pull-up three-point shots yes, right here. From Yusuf the, and one from the one white guy. and the volley, the gray right. line, when again, it eight or ten seconds? it's ten seconds here. Oh, okay, okay. And Chris did a good job of pulling up and staying right. Good, good defense by Shot Doc. We don't have a defense award, but that's defense of the day by Coach Tone. That's great <laughs> defense out there. I love defense. Oh, yeah. Kyle is definitely not known as a shot blocker, but he, he blocked that shot. He looked pretty good. 
It's the little things. And he said that, he even said that in the podcast. He did the little things here and there. And those things can get you the win. Yeah, they, they matter down the stretch because it'll show to everybody else that he's bought in on the defensive side of the floor. Mm, you should did a good job right there of, of fading him, fainting, and then going and pulling up a mid-range shot. That was a what's, good play. What's crazy is Yusuf's actually a really good playmaker and a really good passer. It's just in this league, he hasn't really shown that, his, that ability that he has. Look, listen, if Yusuf could could mix it all up, he could be one of the best players in the league. That's just my opinion. Just seeing this, seeing this kid play, he does some crazy stuff, but when he does stuff like that and doesn't wait for his team, you know what I'm saying? It could be a problem. Ooh, that was a hard shot. That's actually flopped with the day, bought you by Jose, because he flopped very badly. That I don't know. I think he took some contact. No. No, that's Jose. That was, that was 50% flop, 50% contact. I'm I need this one, Sauce. Come on, Sauce. sauce for three. Three-point shot. Yay! We, we watch film together every week, and I keep telling him we watch film together. Sauce, if you're open, you got to shoot the threes. Yes. Because it's there. And he's actually a capable And he took scorer. his time to he set his feet. He took his time, knocked it down. Because he's open, so he can set his feet. He can even take a dribble if he wants to get in rhythm so he can knock down that shot. Because he's going to have open shots. Because right. Sway is so good attacking the basket. Exactly. I mean, they just played last game that they're not just a defensive team. They could yeah. be an offensive team as well, but they have to be willing to take the shots you're telling them. Yeah, and they got to be consistent. Because it can't be a one-time thing where everybody scores and everybody's in rhythm. It's got to be a continuous thing. It's got to be everybody moving forward and playing well. Right. Good. They, they need really good facilitation. Q Deasy is in. We actually graduated high school at the same time, me and Q. We went to high school together. Really? Yep. Wow. We, we've known each other since 2010, so that's a long time. Have you guys been playing with each other that long? Yeah, we played high school ball together, AAU. We did all that together. I actually was the one that introduced him to the league. I oh, told really? him to come season three. Yep. And then he didn't show up, but then he came to my team last season. So oh, he's a fun player to watch for He's sure. a, he's a, oh, good knocks shot. down another three. Who is that, Nick? Was that Nick who knocked that down? Yeah. He doesn't really make that, so I mean, I'm very happy for him. That's a good shot. That's a Houston shot looking to answer right back. That's Brick of the Day brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Wait. What They're going calling on? Airbus. Yeah, that's good. Well, it's brick of the day. Again, that's what we were talking about, that they take those deep threes and doesn't help their offense get in rhythm because it gets everybody else frustrated. The thing with the Reapers is they're making them shoot even deeper threes because of how good their perimeter defense is. That's what. That's why I was telling you. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how they really deal with that. In, in my opinion, I know this is very high IQ basketball play, but a give and go would right. be beautiful because they're pressuring so high. If you just pass it and cut, face cut, and do a bounce pass, it's a layup almost every time. That's actually that exactly ball. what they did a couple plays ago to, to score. So let's see if they try to follow suit and use that. That was a nice pass by Yusuf. Good shot by 1v1 God. That's assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. That's what we want Yusuf to do. He's more than capable to be a very great passer. Right. It's just sometimes he's unwilling to make the extra play. He's doing a good job of he's passing He's doing a great so job. Far. Yeah. Yeah. It's a foul. Mm -hmm. Quinn has a big body, man. It's tough. It, you have to go around him. It's like one of the houses that, uh, what's what's his name? One of the houses that, uh, Zane as well, yeah. Zane that's going to sell. Oh, big, big, big finish right there. It's a close game right now. I think it's going to be very low scoring. It's going to be in the 50s, in my opinion, both sides. I can see that happening. Look at that defense by Shakespeare. Good pass, Good pass by Q. Oh, X couldn't finish there. That's a brick of the day again. <laughs> Brought you by, Brought Zane. by Zane. Zane picked a good one to sponsor because he's going to get a lot of shout outs because a lot of people do bricks of the day. Oh, yeah. That and, yeah, and Ash is major too. Yeah, they do get sweet finishes of the day, but I think we've had, if we had a counter, I wish we had a counter for brick of the day and sweet finish of the day, and we know who has the most. Because uh, I kind of want to know what's, what's the one that is worth sponsoring. <laughs> All right, let's see what Nick gets a little mismatch. Shakespeare. Can't hit. No poetry on that one. Yusuf gets the rebound. Here he goes. Goes up for a layup. Even though he had someone there. Oh, shot dog gets the ball right back. Yusuf with another three. That's a high arcing shot. There we go. Q with the rebound and the putback. That's the Reaper's weakness right there. They made Yusuf take a bad shot, but they couldn't finish the possession. Oh, another turnover by the Reapers. Yusuf. Here comes 1v1 God. Oh! Have you seen um, in the NBA, Jose Alvarado? Um, we just had a slip and fall, and I got a... That's brought to you by Mott Law. Be careful on your foot. 
got what? Jose Alvarado from the Pelicans. That is what Yusuf likes to do a lot. Back poke from, the, from behind. But Yusuf, again, he's playing a solid game from what I've seen. Some bad shots, but he's been consistent. Right now, there's a little bit of chirping between Sway and Yusuf. That was highly expected in this game. Yeah, they're actually homies. They went to high school together as well. Yeah, so, uh, so they know how to get into each yeah, other's heads. exactly. They know, to, they know what pushes each other. Yeah, they hang out all the time. Yusuf is always close to Josue's kids, so they're like a really close, like tight knit family. Uh, so it's kind of like brother going against brother right now between both of them. Right. I'm the right, QDZ, QDZ. Can't hit on the first, one. first shot. They need to make these free throws. It's Gibson, uh, Gibson had a solid game last game as well. Come on, QDZ? Take your time. What's up? You said QDZ had a solid game last game? Oh, well, he missed both. Is the Reapers up right now by one? Makos are up by one. I like Sterling being aggressive. He had a good game as well. He settles a lot for the three ball when he's a pretty athletic kind of guy. He can attack the basket when he wants to. I think he settles a lot for the three ball. I agree. They look for him here again. Trying to make something happen. See, Pulls up the mid-range shot. Another seven. And he forgets the foul. How many is that on Yusuf? He had back-to-back -back fouls. That's two on Yusuf. Two on Yusuf. If he gets fouled in foul trouble early, that would be hey, tough for Yusuf to stay engaged in the game. And that's the thing. The Makos had 15 fouls last game. They, they stopped, like, playing defense by moving their feet. They kind of use their hands, and that's kind of what's killing them right now. Because both teams right now, next foul is in the bonus. So both teams just got to keep attacking. Right, right. Both teams are good at that, too. Right? Take it Cause fouls. But they do it the opposite way. Right. The Reapers attack with their guards, and the Makos attack <laughs> with their bigs. Yeah. Which is kind of funny. It's kind of like a, like the opposite to track kind of way. Yeah. And that's what, I feel like that's why this game is so good. It's because they play so similar, in a way. Here comes Yusuf. Passing the shot, Doc. Shot, Doc finds Q. Q. That's great. Dude. Finds Gibson. Gibson finds 1v1 God. The passing is nice here. There we go. Shot, Doc with a three. Dang. Can't hit. Need the kids holding. Oh, wow. That was a great save by Yusuf. Steve the Kid called him overrated in the podcast a couple weeks ago. Who? Steve the Kid called Cotton called Shot Dog overrated a couple weeks ago. He did, he did, and I, I was surprised by that. Fuck you, take your time. The problem with Kyle, and this is what I love about Kyle, he loves getting into people's heads, but he does it in different ways. He's like a very smart player because he knows how to push people's buttons. Right. And some people just can't handle it. Body is in. I like Body's game. I think he should play a little bit more. <laughs> oh. Good steal by the Reapers. Here comes the timeout. Time time we call the timeout right now. Uh, the Reapers did. While they call the timeout, let's go to We Buy Houses and Mobile Homes, any type, any condition. No equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. Yeah, so you got to buy some houses. Yeah, I'm so telling you, my I question, sort of memorized. <laughs> my, my question is, what kind of houses, what's the worst kind of house you can sell? Can you get like a little mobile home? Or can you get like a little like a storage facility and say that's your house and sell it to him? Brother, or you can get a dumpster. At this point, that's what I'm saying. At this point, anything, this point, anything, anything. anything. If I buy I a dumpster, if I, you could, that's what I'm saying. You can sell a box. We can be like and charge, Bob. you know, Those charge three hundred and fifty-nine thousand dollars. I heard Walmart selling tiny houses for forty-five hundred. I heard I Amazon one. selling houses too. Amazon right, got a house. Uh, we got we got some stuff for you. Uh -oh. <laughs> I heard. Anyways, uh, let's let's uh, let's hop on to it. I hear a Sally Nation reality <laughs> show coming up. <laughs> oh my god! But everyone under one roof. Fixer upper. <laughs> everyone under one roof. <laughs> That would be absolutely Fake everyone wild. Fix something in the house. Fix up your stuff. Imagine. Picture I would, that. I, do, I, I would live in the house. Yeah, man. They kind of made it like the ultimate <laughs> fighter. <laughs> it's a whole tournament. All you guys are living in the same house. Oh, man. No, we should make it like, um, what's those shows? Like The Bachelor. Ah, I see. Big brother, bro. Big brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Here comes Bryce. 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 Be aggressive. This I need Nick to be more aggressive. Yep. Nice pass to Jay Nola. He misses a three point good shot rebound. in the corner. Shakespeare with a good rebound. Another set of three. Tries to shoot the three right there. Can't hit. Oh, oh, they're playing volleyball out here. Oh! Good hustle by Nick. In my opinion, in my opinion, Fonzo's having a really good season. He doesn't really get talked about much, but he's doing the little things to help them win. And yeah. See, right there, look at that. The cut and the end. Oh my goodness, that's a sweet finish. They brought brought by Ashes, Bake Shop, and Assistant. They brought to by Levi by Houses. Right that was when a I great little pass. Yeah, as right. soon as you said that, he cut straight into the basket. He must have heard me. But in my opinion, yeah, he's playing very solid this year. The years past, he's taken like a lot of threes and been missing, but he's kind of figured out. He's very fast and athletic, so he can go to the basket. <laughs> This is the free throw. He's very basically frustrated. A little bit, but sometimes I can feel his game. I've seen it happen. Oh, pulls a three. He hits it. Hits a three-point shot. Yusuf has entered the building. Talking trash the whole time. Yep, there he is. All right, here you go. Yeah, uh-oh, now he's on him. Now he's on him. Yeah, passes the ball. It's a good screen. Illegal screen, yeah. Yeah, that was an illegal screen. He didn't have his feet set. Yeah, he put it. He, he tucked his elbows out yeah. too. Yeah, there's really no argument. That was a bad call. I mean, oh, they called a foul one v one. Okay, I guess it was a bad call. Because yeah. we saw, I saw, we saw it differently. I thought he was he poked his elbows out. Oh, one and one already as well. We forgot we said that earlier. Oh, it is, yep. The thing that in this league that kills about shooting free throws is that it wastes time. So, like, if, if you're up or down a little bit... It can, and, it can really hurt you. Yeah, exactly. So, I would rather take a layup as opposed to free throws down the stretch because it wastes 30 seconds every free throw almost every time. And those are valuable seconds. Especially in a close game like this. Oops. Ooh, good back and forth passing. Here comes Gibson. Gibson with a three. I think ever since I forgot what was the th their third game of the season, I hit two threes from the corner. It's kind of like opened his game, and he's gotten more confident with that with the jump shot. Yeah, you can see him getting. Yeah. Oh man, that's a oh a bump. That has to be. A he he literally. Oh, that's a warning. It's, it's been. Uh -oh. oh, they're friends. They're friends. Yeah, I, I forgot they're, you, you, they're you, like. You said that. Yeah, it, it's a family affair right now between both of them. Friend, friendly trash talk. Three ball, oh, I can't hit. That's 1v1's problem, is he settles a lot with oh, the three. Sway comes up with it. Pass it all the way to Nick. Nick with the layup. There that's an assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses. For Nick, that's a sweet finish of the day as well. He doesn't really make a lot of layups, so <laughs> that's for him a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by? Brought to you by Ashes Big Shot. There he is. Again, what is the, what's the month of this? Is it still Valentine's theme for Ashes Big Shot? No, so now we have a Shoot peanut butter explosion. Okay. So it's a fun game. Peanut butter what? Peanut butter Oreos and Reese's Cup. Peanut butter Oreos? Oh, Thank you. Shout out to the Girl Scouts, so it's Thin Mints and Andy Mints. Okay. And if you're allergic for shipping, peanuts, it's better for you. We have a brookie, so it's half regular chocolate chip, oh. half chocolate dough. Okay. Oh, that sounds great. Well, you get guys, some of that stuff of Ashes, Ashes cookies, man. That's if you're allergic to peanuts, do not buy any yeah, of the yeah, peanut don't buy stuff. Those. We're not condoning that behavior. <laughs> We're not allergy friendly. They're not allergy friendly, they said. But you can also get the brookie, you can get the thin mints, you can get all that. Just don't get peanut butter. We don't want you to die. I recommend the <laughs> s'mores cookie. I'm oh the s'mores cookie. That's, that's my favorite. That's, it is so you good. can put. The I don't even like marshmallow, it. and that's my favorite cookie. You can put a stick through it and put it in a little campfire. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't fall though. You need to have like a pan instead. Put a I mean, pan I, over the campfire. We usually have cookouts on Sunday, so I'm gonna put my order and pick it up and take it back. What's your favorite like cookout food, by the way? Cookout food? Yeah. I'm a mac and cheese guy. I'm, a, I'm honestly on like the grill. I like churrasco. Mmm. I'm Puerto yeah. Rican. I love that. Yeah, I love churrasco with fresh, ma mm. freshly made chimichurri. Yep. Arroz con gandules. Oh man, dude. You making my dude? My mom was in town. She gave me a bag like this big. You know how moms be? They give you like a oh, little Ziploc yeah. bag this big of arroz con gandules. Oh, that was my lunch for the whole week. I cooked myself some chicken with that rice, and you're good to go. Not a lot of people know about that food. The thing is, Puerto Ricans they don't have that much diversity in their in their foods. But just so good. The ones that they do make is so good. Like mm -hmm. it's you know can never complain. X made both free throws by the way. Anyways, back to the game. Oh man, you guys, you guys are probably salivating. You guys know what that is. Ooh, that's Sway a, goes up with it. That's a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. They gotta get back. 
They do have to get back. Here comes X. 1v1 one one God looking That's for a, a score. Good, good hustle by X. Oh, man. X is having a really solid season. The past couple seasons, he struggled with the outside shot, but he's kind of like figured out he can help the team in other ways. Yeah, he's doing a good job this season, offensive rebounding and finishing around the basket. Except for me, he wants to hit three, to four threes against me. But other than that, the whole season, he's been attacking the basket pretty well and finishing off the putbacks. X has an aggressive mindset. I like the way he plays. I like his game. And yeah, uh, still a close game here. Oh, that's short. Misses on that one. Yeah, they got a box out here. One god with the rebound. The Reapers are all over him. Oh, he traveled. He's, He's looking traveling. to pass it out. He finds Gibson at the three-point line. That's takes a, a mid-range shot. shot. Bang! That's his shot. Gibson, man. Him and Braylon are really close, so I know Darius pretty well. I know that's his shot right there. That's his game. Now we're down two. Way. You gotta be aggressive here. We're gonna make something happen. Yeah, it was all it was all the sway show last. They need the Reapers' score, problem too is there's no off ball movement. Everybody's on one side of the floor. Yep. I know they got bailed out by Jose being so talented, but you need to figure out like having people move without the ball because everybody just standing in the perimeter watching people dribble. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Shot dog yeah. hits a three. Look at the net. It's messed up. That's how good that shot was. The net is still the net up there. Is still, that is yeah. That's as clean as it gets. Really. That can be a sweet finish of the day. Just because of the net. <laughs> it was on Darius. Now on shot dog hey, as Shakespeare was going up. I got that same call in my game, so Kyle can't complain. He called it on me. He called it on me. It's kind of karma. Karma hits you when you don't expect it. When when those kind of fouls are called, it's really hard to call them. It happens so fast. Yeah. It happens so fast. It's just like when we're younger, we get taught to if you stand vertical, even if you jump up and down and they go to you, it's usually not a foul. But the problem is, is people in this league don't really know that. So they when they say you jump, they think you're gonna foul. Right. That's part of the table. Oh, you're there, baby. Thus causing Ca causing these fouls. And then me and Kyle are pretty high IQ, and we kind of expect that to be a no call, and we kind of like get surprised when we hear that to be a call. Shakespeare hits. He hits one for two, I think. He did. He hit both. Oh, he, okay. okay. So he did. Kyle's open. It's a two point game. The Reapers are up. Good pass. Oh, good pass. That's the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Well, we talked about the give and go. That was a give and go right there. 1v1 one one pass. He cuts to the basket. Good pass. And he got a good layup. And, and honestly, I like 1v1 uh, one one God's game. Under the rim. He's really good at playing. Yeah. He's really great at playing. He's still making it. Oh, your headphones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my drinks and everything. Vaughn 2K. Vaughn wants to be in here so <laughs> much that he had to come over here. No, I just thought about it. Freaking Vaughn. I love that guy. I had him season three. He's such a good guy. Oh, good, good, good layup by 1v1 God. It's a five point game. This is a big, this is a big possession right here for the Reapers. They can't, them being down five is almost them being down ten. Like how slow they score. Oh! Yeah, Kyle's a big body. That's another foul. How much seconds left? Five seconds? Crazy thing is, 20 foul calls in one half. That's a lot of calls. 20 foul calls in one half? Yeah, it's 11 to 9 right now. Mitch, 3.2. Oh, yes. That's a lot of fouls. I mean, both teams are being aggressive, but it's like, sometimes the refs just gotta let them play. I know they wanna call a lot of stuff. But well, that's the thing. If you kind of have like the balance. The Reapers are really good when they take the ball inside, and then the Makos they can score outside. Oh, the ball on the court. They've been trying to go up and in. Mitch, did he hit that? He didn't make that. Mitch. It's right. It's that's delayed. It's yeah, really I guess slow. delayed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's copying you down there, so I'm. Hey, hey, hey! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back. Oh. Looks like they're going up with the final shot, shot dog, and he gets it! Sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. What a shot finish. Shot clock cheese, baby. Oh, Ooh, Chris goodness. moved in the building. Oh, yeah. Like, I was a big fan. Me too. Love that guy. I watched the 2K on my career videos growing up. Well, with that, we're going to take you to our sponsors.
This is attorney Rochelle Lamont with the Mott Law. I'm a Florida personal injury attorney specializing in auto accidents and slip and falls. I have years of experience recovering millions for my clients at one of the nation's top law firms. If you or a loved one find yourself in this unfortunate situation, make sure to call us today. It would be our honor to represent you. We're super excited to be part of Selling Nation this season. Let's go Makos. Game two of week six of season five of the Southern Nation League. This is the Makos, sponsored by Amat Law, taking on the Reapers, sponsored by Campus Customs, and it's been a close game so far. 15 fouls. 20 fouls already heading into the second half. The Makos want to jump. It's been a very aggressive game. Tall, what, tough fought one. What do you think game. the Reapers need to do to come back into this game? Convert on their uh, defensive turnovers. That's that's a start. Uh, they've gotten a few, but they couldn't convert. I haven't uh, seen and the other score that, as well. I think it's just been Josue. Am I right? I think so. So far, I think it's always been Josue once 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 again. He's really played that role a lot. Uh, just scoring. He's like, playing, else needs to step right. he's like playing my career, and you pass it out, and you expect your teammates to hit, and they haven't been hitting. So you're kind of like player locks. Like, yeah. I'm just going to do it myself. That's kind of like what he's been doing so far. But it sucks. But yeah. hopefully that motivates the other teammates to, you know, step up. And on top of that, they had a chance to go over their gameplay on the bench. So let's see if they switch it up. Here comes Sway going up with it and scores. Just like we were saying, he's looking to put this game in his hands at this point. At this point, if he, if the Reapers win, he's definitely platinum player. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, shot, shot dog, you don't want him taking that one. They got lucky. Good rebound by Luke. Gibson getting. Oh, good pass. I need that Luke. Good pass again. One more. Good ball movement by the Mancos. Here comes Yusuf. Great pass. Great finish. That's the assist of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. The Mancos get a touch that possession. What was that? Did everybody get a touch? Everyone got a touch. That's another sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bait Shops. I love, way. I love when everybody on the team gets a touch and willing to be unselfish and pass the ball to one another. The pass from Luke all the way back out here was amazing. That's brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Everybody's getting so, a shout out. What's crazy is one possession, everybody gets a touch and they score. Then Yusuf comes down and chucks that shot. Like, he got to be consistent both sides. Right. If they would have did exactly what they did last play, they would have scored, scored again. Scored again. But hey, they have another chance here. Here comes Yusuf with the up and in. Sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. I like that little jelly. Yeah, he does that a lot. It goes in and it doesn't go in. If it doesn't go in, people get mad at that. <laughs> Shakespeare with a wide open shot. Can't hit. I want to know his percentage. I don't think it's over 30%, his three point percentage this season. No chance. Like, it's pretty low. I need him to attack the basket a little bit more. Who was that, Shakespeare? Yeah. We could check what it was last game. Last game he shot well, so it's gonna, it's an yeah, outlier. It's gonna be low. Yeah, you're right. Like, he hasn't been shooting well. I, he's athletic enough to attack the basket. I don't know why he doesn't do it, but he just settles a lot, and it kind of like hurts his team. Like, Nick needs to be aggressive right here. Right. Find Josiah Shaw. Here comes Sauce. Sauce looking, looking for somebody. For somebody who's open. Find Shakespeare. Nick Arsino with the layup. Sweet He's finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Again, anytime Nick makes a layup, you got to <laughs> shout it out because it doesn't go in very often. I think he's been working on those. You can tell. Here we go. Let's see if everybody gets a touch again. You see. One. Nice Euro oh, good step. Pass. Great pass. Assist of the day brought, brought to you by We Buy Houses. It's crazy. Like, they had one possession where everybody touched the ball, and they went away from that play. I don't know. I mean, they're scoring, but it's like, I want oh. them to be and Oh, one. and one. On the floor. There's no that continuation. Was on the floor. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, Sway no wanted that and one for sure. Yeah, there's no continuation in Southern Nation, so if you get fouled and you're not shooting at the same time, it's not an M1. <laughs> yeah. 
I love it. I love seeing competitiveness in the Selenation League. Oh, it's so fun. Bounce pass. Bounce pass. Good cut by Saw. Yo, you were saying bounce pass on that one. Yeah, his hands are straight up. If he did a bounce pass, it would have been a layup. And that was a good cut by Sauce, too. It was. He's a football. He's a D1 football player, so he knows how to move and run routes out there. Mm. They just, again, they need to throw good passes. Arsina open at the... Oh, not, not anymore. That's a mismatch right here. Open enough to receive the ball. He goes, the pass. Passes it to Shakespeare, Another but the Makos come up with the ball. Here comes X. Good finish. Good girl step. Hit, hit. Push in the back. Pushing the back. 50, 50, 50. A lot of people don't know how to throw a bounce pass. And when you have bigs in the game and you're throwing it up against a guard, it's a disadvantage for you, even though it's a good pass, because they're bigger. So they're more capable of stealing that pass. How much harder is a bounce pass than just a chest pass like that? A bounce pass is a little bit difficult, but it's the better, it's the more accurate pass because it's easier for a guard to get a bounce pass against a big than a chest pass is against a big because they're bigger and their arms are longer. So you're not really capable of getting that pass. Makes sense. Oh, good steal oh, by good X. Steal by X. He's good. doing the little things to keep the Mangos ahead. Good pass. Pass to Yusuf. Assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Shot Doc does more than just, I mean, he's at, he was talking about that on the podcast, how he's a, kind of like that glue player who was doing he does a little the bit little of everything. that people yeah. don't notice. Exactly. It's the work that goes unnoticed, for yeah. sure. Really and while we're here on this timeout, go ahead and hop on to one hop to shop. It's the official home of all Southern Nation League merchandise. This week, they had their first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t-shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Southern Nation League on Instagram to place your order today. Hey, I saw it on the podcast. I think Mike was wearing it. They're pretty dope. Those uh, the he wore, I think he wore the hoodie oh, on yeah. the podcast. It was pretty dope. Sleeve. The long sleeve on, yeah. it was pretty dope. I like how all the teams are on it. But again, I kind of want like the personalized jersey kind of thing. I hope they have that. Shipping is fifty-two dollars per Jesus. jersey, so I got. Hey, if someone's willing to pay the fifty-two dollars, you can personalize Honestly, your own jersey. I might just so I can have a different, you know, yeah, different look. Yeah, you can change it up. Switch every jersey for the rest of the week, the season, including the playoffs. You can have every team. <laughs> just wear every single team's jersey. Yeah. <laughs> so you're unbiased. Every, game. every game you have a different jersey. <laughs> change in between. You oh, off. you just take them off. Hey, that'd be good for my demo reel because it seems like I'm calling a different yeah. you know, game every day. I think, have you seen like those videos of like those super fans that has like the, the favorite NBA players jerseys uh, and they keep taking them off as a different jersey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They That's <laughs> what you gotta do. Great I'm gonna wear man. every jersey on top of each Gotta keep it moving. <laughs> It's hilarious. I, actually, for me, in my opinion, this season, these are probably the best jerseys we've had for all eight teams. I think it's been consistently well. I mean, the Magicians just copied my jersey last season, but other than that, they're pretty cool jerseys. So I think the, the keys to victory for the Reapers here, ooh. Well, that's a smart play right there. Yeah. The keys to victory is really to, you know, need more fouls like they did last game. They created 14 of them last game. They shot 60% from the free throws. That, that's going to be their bread and butter, I feel, and limit the turnovers. Yeah. For them, an eight-point lead is kind of like a double-digit lead. I know it's close, but for them, it's a lot because they have a difficulty scoring. Exactly. And even the free throw, again, you got to knock them down because it's wasting 20 seconds at a time you being on the free throw line. So they got to knock the free throws down. They got to get some stops, and they got to finish, which, I mean, that's how everybody comes back. But for them, it's, they got to do it twice as hard because yeah, and it's they can't really shoot three. Yeah, and it's easier said against the Mako's team. Yeah. Look at that. They're so, they're so shifty. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Make Shop. Yeah, down Yusuf is up. feeling it. Hey, hey, hey corner. That's a settle. Nick for three. You got to get back. Hit. Here comes Yusuf. Good pass down court. Q hits it. That's the assist of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. Yusuf. The He's crazy thing be is, unselfish here. How, does the Re how does the Reaper shoot a three and no one's back in transition? That's, that's the thing. They play really good defense, right? They're, I mean, they're supposed to be the defensive heavy team. They should have, like, all yeah. their team already back out here. They're kind of playing, like, oh, good oh, steal. Oh, good steal from Shakespeare. All alone goes up and hits it. Yeah, the, the Reapers, again, they play really good defense, but they're kind of like playing, in my opinion, a little bit lazy right. because they're letting shots go up like this. You can't give up a three like that to shot ball. 
Comes away, passes to Shakespeare. Shakespeare, further three. Can't hit. Oh, wide open three. That's a brick of the day brought to you by Zane the Realtor. What I brought up the whole time is it's a two-on-one break, and you settle for the three. And you're down by 10, and you need every bucket that you can. Attack the basket, make Kyle make a decision. You kind of bailed him out, settling for a three ball. When, again, you're down 10, you're not the best shooting team. Why aren't you attacking? You know what? I agree with you on that one. Maybe pass up the three-point shot and get the easier points and just chop away at that lead. Yeah, because, if, if, for example, that situation right there, it's a two-on-one break. You had Josue on the opposite block. If you attack the basket, Kyle has to either guard him or Josue, and it would have been a layup. But now... We're passing it in. Oh, this time he hurt. He took your advice. Oh, but he couldn't finish there. Yeah, that's not, that's not, he, he could have passed it out. Well, here comes 1v1 God. That's a Taking good it all the way. Hit, hit. Q gets it and puts it back in. That's Q's bread and butter right there. Offensive rebound and put back. That's his thing. And against the Reaper is his killer. Here comes Chris, man. He's quick. Oh. Yeah, like I said, for them being down 12, it's killing them because they're not offensively capable of scoring consistently 60 points. So I know the Reapers are going to hate that, but I'm just being honest. Stats don't lie, and they only scored 60 points once. So like, if the Makos get to 60 before them, it's kind of like, in my opinion, game over. At that point, yeah, it's going to be the nail in the coffin, I think. As for the Reapers... Do what you guys do best. Yeah. The Makos had 10 steals given up last game. You got to force those on them. It's, it's, I know it's, e it's, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, easier said first, than done. Second. But they're going to have to put that extra effort in. If not, they're going to lose this game. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Yusuf has like a, like a tenacity of like begging for the ball. When 1v1 is more than capable, I mean, that's a settle and he got bailed out. But he's more than capable of scoring almost every possession. Right. So Yusuf's got to realize that it's like, it reminds me, have you seen, remember that Thunder team when they had Paul George and Russell Westbrook? And Carmelo Anthony, yeah, those and all stars, yeah. and all three like took turns taking shots instead of working together. That's kind of what it feels like right now. It's like them two are just taking turns shooting the ball instead of like figuring out what Go. works best for both of you and being cohesive and work together. Which is why sometimes having a lot of stars on the team can be problematic because yep. each of them they they can cook, yep. and then when each of them want to cook, that yep. becomes a problem instead of trying to flourish together. You know? For example, I don't like bringing up my team, but again, Santi wasn't hitting and he got frustrated and Mike was playing well and Santi got frustrated because he wasn't getting touches, but it's like Mike was playing well. So he's got to again figure out, it's like be a team player. If it's not your day, it's not your day. But again, you got to remember to work together. I feel like this team is very talented, but they're not figuring out this like, if we work together and move the ball around, they can score almost every time. Yeah, and um, Honestly, they've been playing a good game here, facilitating-wise. They've been playing better than what we've seen, but if they could do it a lot more, you know, they'd be just that much greater. That yeah. was a great play by uh, Sway. Or it was. By, uh, Shakespeare. Again, he needs to keep attacking. They need, like, three turnovers back-to-back -back right here. They really do. And this is not going to help it right here. Giving a wide-open lane to Yusuf. And he finishes. Oh, my goodness. Like, Yusuf's best possessions has been when he gets the ball in the wing, he goes downhill, and he either goes up for a layup or he dumps it down. It's been working for him this whole game. I think they settled for him shooting the three-point shots that he's starting to pump fake and he's bringing it in every time. Yeah. And forcing the Reapers to take those shots is really killing them right here. Yusuf from deep. See, can't hit. that's the shots we're talking about. Like, against a really good team. They start to get hot. Yeah. But, I mean, hey, it's 51-38. Are you mad that he takes those just to bury them? I, If it was me coaching, I would have said something because I kind of want to bury, like, finish bury the game. in a different manner. Yeah, I want to finish the game. Uh, you want to bury the Reapers. You want to send them back to the saddle realm. Right. <laughs> Oh, it's eight seconds, my bad. I said it wrong. <laughs> well, I said it wrong. I thought it was ten seconds. It's eight seconds to get past the half court. Oh. But, again, the Reapers is killing them because it's been whole sway. And, again, what? 
been their Achilles heel. Everybody else is not really doing much. It's just right. been Josue, 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 and no one else is really like scoring on the offensive end. Yeah, they really do need to help him out because he's, he's, he's playing a good game, but he can't get anyone else. Look at you guys. Look like, at that. No one can I know. Get themselves involved. Yeah. There's going to be a problem. That's to be expected. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe you did. they I don't should bench a few players and try a different kind of role. Their problem for me, I know Sauce is trying his best, but he needs to do a better job of his rotations and getting guys in and out so you can see who's in rhythm and then play those guys. I feel like he, he does the same rotation every game, and I understand that you're trying to play everybody and do your thing, but you who knows? Maybe uh, Josiah Cha can hit some outside shots, or uh, Jacob Nolan can hit some outside shots. I know they've been shooting, but it's like they're not in rhythm because, again, they barely play, and they're not in, um, they're not in rhythm. So it's like it's tough. Yeah, and it's hard to get back into rhythm, especially this deep in the game. Yep. So there's what, nine minutes, eight minutes left? Right. Sauce looks like he's going in, passes it right back out. Arsino with a three point shot. And that's honestly what they're forced with. Here comes Yusuf once again. Can he finish? And he does! Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Those little. Euro steps on his, he's really good. But, yeah, but again, he's doing a good job going downhill and attacking, and he's doing a good job reading the defense. Because right. they all come up to him, he's been throwing at dump downs, and then if they don't, he's been getting layups. But what's killing him offensively for the whole team is him settling for the volleyball line three, yeah. and he's getting everybody off rhythm. Like, he's a talented player, but he's got, if he wants to win a championship, that's what wins you championships. Figuring out, moving the ball, doing what you do best instead of, like, forcing yourself to be in rhythm. But the Makers are doing a really good job of keeping themselves on top. I agree. Making it difficult for the Reapers to even try to come back. I agree. In my opinion, the Bigs are doing a really good game rebounding. They've been doing a really solid job. Mako was with the, oh, that was a bad pass. And here comes Sway going up, and he hits it. So we finish the day again. But Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. But again, oh, Sway's been doing everything, and they're not getting back on defense. Oh. This is, in my opinion, this is the worst defensive game for the Reapers I've seen this whole season. They're you know not, what? I agree with you. I, I, was, I was about to say the same thing. I was about to ask you. Do you think this is the worst defense you've this seen? This is the worst the one. Play? They're not getting back on defense. They're kind of like, they're not they, They're not engaged. They, I feel like they're just going through the motions right now on a defensive end. And in offense, they're going through the motions as well, just watching Josue play one on five. Like, right. I know they're very adamant on Josue playing MVP, but you have to win games to be an MVP player. And the Makos are taking advantage of that fully. Mm -hmm. They say, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna guard everybody else. You guys are gonna have to force sway yep. to keep this team in the in the game. And that just but the game plan for them is let whole sway score 30. He can't beat us one on five. He, right, he exactly. scores 30 and the whole team scores, you're gonna beat him by this amount every time. Exactly. Yep. Here comes Nick gets the foul. Like, I love Nick, but he's not your secondary option. Like, in my opinion, he got drafted way too high, and he's in a situation that he's not comfortable in. Nick is more of, like, the best glue guy in the league, and he'll guard the best player, he'll get you rebounds, he'll pack, make the extra pass, but they don't have a secondary score. Yeah, no, they really like, don't. And that's what's hurting you. Yep. Bad. Bad. They need to find that secondary score and, and quick. I don't think they have it on their roster, unfortunately. They really don't. <laughs> All right, it looks like the Reapers are, are starting to step up on the defense. But I think it's too little too late. It, it really is. Look at the Makos. Makos have really good ball movement. Oh, assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. X with the three-point shot. And that's what happens when you can facilitate the ball. This is what we talked about earlier. Everybody, almost everybody got to touch that possession. They moved the ball and they got the open shot. Oh, Chris. I like that sauce. But again, that's been the Mako's bread and butter. They've been yeah. moving the ball, trusting each other to make their open shots, and they're going in. Yeah. Uh, they just need to continue doing that. The Reapers, what's killing them is just transition defense. They're not getting back, and I think at least 15 of their points have been transition layups. Oh, yeah. It's an 18-point game. It would be a much different game if they got back on defense. And the Makers are just feeling it. Mm -hmm. They got Yusuf feeling it. 
Yeah, yeah one view. One guy's feeling it. X is trying to feel it now. Yep. And that's when it starts to get scary, especially here late in the game. Yep. They need to find a way to get in rhythm late in the season because in two weeks you're going back to conference play. In my opinion, those are the biggest three games for everybody in the season. Yeah, you always want to win out your conference. I don't know. Because, again, we, we said this before. If you're last in your conference, you don't make the playoffs. Nope. So I feel like at the last three games of the season, it's, it's going to be the most intense games. Can't wait for that. There we go, good steal. Here we go, good steal from the Reapers. Here comes Jay Noble that back to Fonzo. Fonzo That's a, with the sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. That's also assist of the day brought to you by uh, We Buy Houses. That's a great bounce pass, great job in transition. But in my opinion, I think it's too little too late. They're down by 15. I mean, they've, been, they've had comebacks before. But. Jay Nola looks like sauce is open on the other corner. But Josiah delivers a three. 12 point game. 12 point game. I hope the Reapers prove me wrong, but. What's the time? It's like two minutes left, three minutes left. It's a lot of time left. They need like two stops. Ooh, got close there. Shot dog. Looking for someone who's open. Chaw with some good defense. Oh, but even better offense. This is the day Shaw. brought to you by We Buy Houses again. That's an excellent pass by Kyle Arts. Oh, yeah. Makers are feeling it. Bonzo, wide open three point shot, decides not to take I like it. That's the easy point. I like that, though. He decides to cut into the lead while he's still got time left. They, they need every bucket they can. Again, we said 60 is a magical number. The Makos got 60 already. I just don't. I don't think they can do it. I don't know. I, 12 points in one minute. Two minutes. I can't be tough. What time's left on the clock, uh, Mitch? You can't see who gets this Click enter, uh, Mitch. Click enter. 2.33. We got it. 2.33. The time. What, click enter, yeah. It'll show you the time up there. 2.33. 2.33. left, okay. So, 2 minutes, 33 seconds, 12 points. It's just, they haven't been in rhythm. I just don't think they're capably offensively to score that. My bad. And with that, we go to the grooming gallery. This is Orlando's premier barber shop where artistry meets grooming. Boris is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at the grooming gallery to book an appointment. How to get that one out quick. <laughs> My bad. No, you're good. Also, during the timeout, Yusuf was begging for the ball. That's what I've been talking about. This remaining. league, it matters being a good teammate. And if those moments like that is going to derail your team. If you want to be a championship team, cohesion is more important than talent. Right, right. You should be proud of the fact that you're up by 12. Yeah, you're up by 12 and your team did a really good job of facilitating the ball and playing good team ball. Here comes the and he's talking his trash now. Oh my goodness. Foul on 111. He's saying that was a bailout, but there was, a, there was some contact there. <laughs> there was definitely some contact, but I love that about Josue because that's how he is as a player. Play the fucking game. Play the fucking game. Worry about me. He needs to. Josue is the type of guy, like, if he's talking trash, that actually gets him more into rhythm. Right. That's how he's been. I coached him when he was. A, in high school, so I know his game. That's how he is. If he talks trash, he'll make three or four more buckets, and they can come back if he's in rhythm. But again, they, I they just haven't been making their outside I'm shots. With you, I don't see. I don't. We don't. I, I'm trying to be unbiased here on both parties. I'm trying to be unbiased here for both parties. We've been saying that they can't come back, but they want to come back and they want to win this game. They gotta score quick, and stuff like this isn't helping. Oh, they're talking. Oh, man. They're chirping back and forth. Yeah. yeah. No. Texts aren't team fouls. No, they're not team fouls. They're just personal. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, I'll start running this clock again. Don't tell Sometimes. Me. See, it, 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 could, it could get heated. <laughs> Sully Nation, I mean, it's the league that, that it matters the most to everybody here. It's already, we're past halfway of the season. Things are starting to get a lot more competitive than they were in the beginning of this half of the season. So, I mean, hey, this is to be expected. We saw a little bit of uh, back and forth going between the Goblins last game. Yep. And, uh, and it, wasn't it, was it wasn't it as was bad. It was just 
that moment down there, I'm just gonna be honest, he just retaliated because he didn't like that he jumped on, on top, top of him. him. Yeah. And he retaliated. But that's a sport, man. If that is a sport. The ball, no? But he blew the whistle. Right, that's right, that's right, why okay. he got mad. He blew the whistle and he Let's kept go, going and the then he jumped running. on top Let's of go. him. Ryan got, took a shot to the face. He <laughs> did. It was a very physical game by both teams. It was a solid game. Um, Goblins are a really good team. They, they, they're in the two-game losing streak right now, so they got to pick it back up. Because the Panthers don't have Dom, and they still look really good. That's a good free throw right there. That's a great free throw. And it all stemmed from that loss to the Magicians, where they only lost by one point, too. That was crazy. But they, last, that game, in my opinion, what killed them is they didn't have Tyreek. Tyreek is their X factor. He's their guy that like is their bruiser, gets all the boards for them, and they were missing that, especially against Chile last week. Yeah. It was a great game. Good on his second make. Yeah. Thirteen point game. How much time's left? I can't tell. That's not a good shot. Big rebound by QDC right there. Pass it back. Back out to X. Slow it down. Slow down court. Finds Luke. Luke finds shot dog. And he no. can't hit. I would have yelled that. I would have yelled that number that. Uh -oh. All the way. No. Fast down court. Arsina from the corner. Can't hit. They got to slow the game down. They really have. But the Makos are doing a great job of forcing it into Nick's hands to shoot the three. I agree. But offensively, they need to slow the game down and finish the game. Them forcing shots with like up to under two minutes left and you have this lead. It's not going to be good because any team, I mean, other than the Reapers, any team is willing to come back. And they have the offensive power to come back. You take shots like that. Because one or two threes down, it can go from 14 to 8, and it makes it a different game. So what, what would you preach for more ball movement? I would preach slow the game down. Okay. Well, the Reapers, they need to keep being aggressive and speed them up. The Makos need to slow down, waste clock, make them foul you, knock down your free throws, and then it's game over. Yep. The Reapers, again, they make some free throws. And it seems like the Makos are going to start doing that right now. <laughs> they have to speed them up. They only got... Oh. Actually, they're not so only giving them. They kind of want to score and really put the nail in the coffin. That's a bad shot. Oh, oh, man. Man, there was various bricks of the days brought to you by Zane the Realtor. All the way. Oh, oh good wow. wow. Defense right there. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's game. That's game. Their body language is saying that's game. 1v1, one one, make it. No. Luke, go up. Yeah, Luke. There we go, Luke. That's part of the damage, to be honest with you. I like you said, their body, look at that. Their body language is terrible. Oh, finally hits the three-point shot. But it's a little too late here. Yeah, the body language to me is terrible. It looks like they gave up on themselves. Man, the Makos played a really good game. They did. I love the ball movement. I feel like they just got to figure out. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Man, these guys are so good at stopping on a time. There we go. Gets the layup. Back to back captain buckets. I love it. Day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. 13. Back to back buckets by the two captains, Luke and Sauce. I love it. Captains need to be more involved. Now it's only a 10 point game. Who's that on? Sauce? Yeah, are you on the dot? It's over. 30 seconds left. Shoot it, Q. That's a shot. It's a, yeah, wide open shot. Q's going to make that all day. Yeah, just let it go. This game is done. Arsena decides to shoot another three. Can't hit. Today. The, the magic number again with the mid. I, I honestly, I feel like they should have gotten Josiah more, more involved in the game. His mid range game was good last week. He, he just hit two. You know? He the problem for them, I, like we said before, is they just watch Josue do stuff, and then that doesn't get them in rhythm, and then they can't know who's in rhythm because all they're doing is just watching Josue play one on five. Like, they can be as good defensively as they want, but again, no, no, no. They, they haven't scored against 60 points very often. I mean, they're close now, but they, they can't come back if they score over 60. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. At this point, this is a waste of time. Just get to the line. Let's go. Get to this the line. This is a waste of time. Come on. You're just wasting point, our time. 
It's done. 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 It's